greetings from Ushuaia, Argentina, also known as the end of the world. If we're here, it can only mean one thing, Antarctica. That is by far the most popular reason why people come to this quiet, quaint town at the end of the world. But we're going to do a bit more. Uh, we're going to walk around town, we're going to check out some restaurants, check out some shops that they have here. Uh, we're also going to go into the National Park, Tierra del Fuego, and we'll do some hiking and some activities there before we embark on our boat. So. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Tierra del Fuego National Park is the southernmost national park in Argentina with a wide range of landscapes, diverse wildlife, including over 90 bird species and the elusive Andean fox, which was spotted on our visit. Exploring with a guide was worthwhile and the canoeing offered another way to see the park. We were back in Ushuaia just in time for a stroll and finished our day with the traditional Argentinian parilla meal. Welcome, we have now made it on board of the Quark Expedition World Explorer ship. This is our home for the next 10 days. We are sailing down to Antarctica for an amazing adventure and we're just getting ready to say goodbye to Ushuaia and set sail. We're all settled in, our luggage was transferred here before us, and we're just waiting for further instructions on what's gonna happen. So, who's ready to see the boat? Let's give you guys a tour. The Quark World Explorer is a spacious and refined ship that can accommodate up to 172 passengers on board. There are six types of cabins on board, all with en-suites. Our Infinity Suite was quite spacious, offering all the comforts of a hotel room with a great view. The ship has many public areas to enjoy after a day outdoors. And of course, a dining room, a boutique shop, and a spa on board. Max, what are we looking at? Minky whales. Minky whales. We're like 10 miles offshore. 30 minutes into the trip. Set sail from Ushuaia, we headed towards the famous Drake Passage. We got lucky and had a very smooth journey with plenty of whale sightings along the way. While crossing the Drake, we stayed busy with educational lectures, biosecurity procedures, activity briefings, and great meals. All right, we are seeing our first icebergs as we get down to the south here. I think we're about 50 nautical miles uh, from Deception Island, I think it's called. Uh, so we're just starting to see a few of them here within the fog, which is pretty cool. So far we've seen some right whales, we've seen some orcas, we've seen some penguins, we've seen some penguins on ice. Penguins on ice? Penguins on ice. No. Uh, the first few of them right there. We got a little small mini iceberg and there's a whole bunch of them scattered around. We're starting to see land now. We are just coming up on Deception Island. Uh, it's a little bonus stop for us because we sailed right on through the Drake Passage. As you can see, we have made our first landing here on Deception Island. Absolutely beautiful. It's this super rich, like volcanic soil at the bottom. Uh, so we just got to walk around a bit. We're here for about an hour and a half before we're gonna jump on the Zodiacs and do a little Zodiac ride and let other people from the boat uh, come on to shore because we're only allowed to have 100 people on shore at a time. How good is that? Ooh. Ooh. Nice and warm on your hands. Oh yeah. It's the stuff right here. Good 
good morning everybody. It's just turned 7.15. We're on approach to Foyne Harbour. Beautiful icy views, soft gentle light. Temperature around one degree and the winds are light. It's our first full day in Antarctica and we're going to take you along for a ride with us today so you can see what it's like to be on this cork ship and experience Antarctica. So it's about 7.30, we just woke up and we're just looking out and admiring the view. The water is super glassy, there's some icebergs floating. It is very foggy, so they told us we have about an hour or so before um, we make the first landing. So we're gonna go down for breakfast, have a bite to eat, and then get ready and uh, hopefully head out if the weather clears a little bit. So we are back from breakfast. We have about 15 to 30 minutes to get ready to go out. Uh, we're on the first disembarkation boat today, which is great. That means we get to get out there first, but it also means we need to get ready. Uh, important thing when we get out there is layering. So underneath of these waterproof pants, which are mandatory, uh, I have a pair of sweatpants, nice merino wool sweatpants, which are gonna keep me nice and warm. I also have two long sleeve shirts on, merino base layer, and then another wool top right here. Some people choose to use a thicker mid-layer, like a sweater, a fleece, or anything like that. But based on yesterday, I was pretty fine in this, so I'm gonna do it again. Other than that, what we have here is we have the nice warm parka that Cork provided with us. Very warm. It also has a little bit of a fluff uh, interior to it, so this is a three-in-one jacket. And then I'll be taking out one of my two hats just to keep my head warm. And then we got some gloves. And then we got a nice little fleecy uh, buff that I can put around my neck. On top of that, we're obviously going to be taking out our gear. We got our cameras, our lenses, our tripod. Very important that we pack all of that. So let's get going. The last step is to go downstairs to the mudroom where we are going to put on our cork provided mud boots. Those are there for biosecurity reasons, which is also great because that means we get no poop on our boots. We're also going to get our life jackets down there and then we're going to jump into Zodiacs and head to shore. So let's go. So we just finished lunch and now we have about another hour until we get to our next destination. So we're just hanging out at the bow of the boat because it gives us a really nice visibility of the ocean. And we're spotting penguins and whales and just basically ready for the next call to get out on land. just made landfall on Coverville Island, one of the other islands we're visiting on our trip. And it's just some really magical scenery here. We've got the mountains behind us. There's a penguin colony here. You can hear them quacking away. <laughs> the penguins quack, I don't know. And then there's all these icebergs all around the shoreline. It just looks so serene and beautiful. back on the ship after an amazing day exploring Antarctica. We're back just in time for a great meal and a beautiful sunset to end this amazing day. The day always ends with some fun bar talks, a few drinks and a little bit of fun.
Every day in Antarctica followed a similar schedule, but every day and every excursion offered unique wildlife sightings and experiences. That was by far the single best humpback experience we've ever had. Woo! Ooh, what have we got here? Our gear is here, and that means we're up on deck for a stand up paddle boarding session. Woohoo! Stand up paddle boarding is one of the add on excursions offered on Quark and Antarctica expeditions. As we discovered, it offers a truly unique way to experience Antarctica and get a different perspective on wildlife and scenery. If you're wondering why I'm wearing my jacket or my bathing suit, you can only mean one thing polar plunge time. Let's go. Our last day and last excursion came faster than we expected, and we were lucky to finish this trip in the most amazing way, paddling. Well, it's our last landing here in Antarctica. We finally made it to the continent and are officially touching land on our seventh continent. But before we say goodbye, there's just one last thing we have to do. Let's go.